Hello everyone, welcome to third week of uh, October of Outdoor Adventure Kids newsletter or Rogue Geosciences or Rogue uh, Club. If you didn't get a chance to know me in person yet, my name is Constantine Platon and I'm the person running, uh, I guess, the business. The title of this week's newsletter is, uh, is Got Nature Deficit Disorder, Got Nature Deficit Disorder. If you didn't get the chance uh, to open the newsletter, the first picture is with us biking in the Colorado Rockies back in 2012 and some trails run deep into the forest and deep into our hearts. So humans is, are the first generation to be spending more time indoors than, than any other species. Um, and the question is, what is the human cost of alienation from the natural world for spending so much time inside? So the nature deficit disorder is the idea that humans are spending less and less time outdoors and the belief that this change can result in a wide um, behavioral problem range. Um, so claims that causes uh, this phenomenon include parental fear and restricted access to natural areas, people don't have where to go, and then the lure of electronic devices. So sensational media coverage and sometimes paranoid parents have literally scared the kids out of the woods um, and a litigious uh, culture that favors safe regimented sports over imaginative play also promotes this idea that uh, outdoors can be dangerous and scary for kids. Anyhow, research suggests over and over again that uh, Exposure to nature is actually important for good health. The second article in the newsletter, it's about Halloween and bike camp at Brazos. It's called, uh, it's actually a call to action. And we have a picture there with a baby alligator being pat uh, by, by a kid. That picture was being taken at the Brazos Bend Nature Center back in uh, 2018, this spring. So we invite you, adults and kids, to come celebrate Halloween by bike camping with us at Brazos Bend during the weekend of October 26-28. So come to count alligators, birds, uh, look at stars at George Observatory um, Center. And then, uh, yeah, we will be there uh, for two nights. So everything is inclusive from... Uh, sharing a van, sharing food, sharing, uh, providing sleeping tents and cooking gear and everything. Our reputation is stellar for providing excellent trips. Everyone comes back uh, safe and usually the kids brag about their accomplishments for a very long, long time. So we invite you to, to join us. The third article in the newsletter, it's called You Hold My Beer. And it shows the picture of a very close rear wheel of a bicycle next to the tail of an alligator. So this picture was taken uh, not long ago at, uh, at Brazos Band, and it was a very unwise move of getting so close to the tail of the alligator. That's a no, 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 no. But luckily, the alligator was much smarter than, uh, than me. It was, it was me. So the alligator moved away. But I, uh, so a couple uh, safety rules regarding alligators. If you know that alligators are supposed to be there or they live there, don't go swimming. That's uh, rule number one. Never attempt to feed alligators. Uh, and if you have a small kid or you have a dog, keep it on a leash. Uh, don't let little kids play around water. It's unsafe. If you happen to be hiking, biking, or kayaking where tall grasses are found, please uh, inspect carefully to make sure that there are no alligators sleeping or nesting. If you encounter an alligator and uh, the alligator is hissing, that's a sign that you are too close and you should back up, back out slowly. Uh, in the past 70 years, there have been recorded only 18, 1, 8, 18 fatalities in the United States, out of which 16 were in Florida, one in Georgia and one in Texas. So alligators fatalities are rare, but they do happen. Um, 
Actually, the one that happened in Texas was in Orange County in 2015, and uh, it happened because an adult, uh, up after having a couple beers, was at the restaurant um, close to water, and that restaurant was known of feeding uh, scrap food to alligators. So this uh, fellow, perhaps a little bit drunk, um, I don't know, want, wanted to prove something to his friends, and he jumped the water and got eaten by alligators. Um, the number one uh, reason for which uh, at alligator attacks happen is because people go to swim or alligators are found, or they go fishing where alligators are known to be living, or they go to retrieve golf balls. So live long, don't swim, or the alligators are... Uh, are known to be found. The next article in, in our uh, newsletter is called, uh, it has to do with Acker James uh, River Bat Cave. And I have a picture from the year of 2005 back in Romania uh, when I was involved with uh, academic studies of bat monitoring. So this is from a campaign from back then. This uh, place, Acker James River Bat Preserve, Cave Bat Preserve, is close to Mason, in Ma uh, Mason Town in Mason County. And it's a cave uh, that, uh, w where lots of, uh, al uh, alligator, lots of uh, bats are hibernating. So people go there in the evening to watch the bats flying out of the cave. It's, it's quite a show, quite impressive. We'll be going uh, to visit this place during the pre-Thanksgiving expedition. Um, this will be our third year running the pre-Thanksgiving expedition, so most schools are closed uh, the week leading into Thanksgiving. So we leave on a Saturday, I believe November 17, and we come back just before Thanksgiving, like the Wednesday before on November 21, 21st. So this is going to be five days trip. Um, in the hill country, we'll be staying at, um, we'll, we'll have base camp at Enchanted Rock. And from there, every day we'll go to visit different objectives, like uh, the fort at, May, at Fort Mason. We're going to go explore this uh, Acker James River Bat Cave Preserve. And uh, we're going to explore the cave at Enchanted Rock and uh, some other places. The last article of the newsletter is called In Other News, and I, we have this picture up close of, um, of an eye of an alligator. And if you look really close, it's, it's like the eye in uh, Lord of the Rings. It's, it's a really cool picture. I invite you to take a look. In Other News, we, we talk about things up and coming and ongoing. So if you are interested in tennis, we are on the tennis court uh, almost every day in the afternoon uh, of the week. We are training the future champions of tennis, so give us a call and join us. We have an annual tennis tournament that we put together on behalf of Houston Geological Society. The one for next year is going to be April 27. It's a Saturday morning in 2019. We invite you to sign up for that. We continue our uh, in-person, in-store classes at REI, Recreational Equipment Industry. Our next talk is going to be November 6, November 13 at uh, Galleria and Baybrook, and we are going to talking about family hiking and cave exploration. And then we have another talk in December, December 4 and December 11, talking about family winter camping. Well, that's about it, what we, we have for this week. Um, please forward our newsletter to your social group. Your support is critical. You'll be doing us a huge favor. Um, our camps dep depend on it. So thank you so much for uh, turning in. And uh, in Outdoor Adventures, this is Constantine. Looking forward to see you soon. Thank you so much.